Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Titans Returns Le Legends class, Brawn. Now it is awesome that we finally got a new Brawn, especially since the last the only other one we had was the, um, let's see, that was the Universe Legends, or the old Universe Legends size. And that one was not the best, really simplified in the fate, the sculpting and paint on the face and chest left a lot to be desired. And we have gotten a few other bronze. There's a Transformers Cloud Brawn, but it's a Voyager using the bulkhead mold, which the mold kind of works for Brawn, but it's just too large for my personal taste. And there was also like the Revenge of the Fallen Brawn, but that's a movie style. So yeah, this is like the first Brawn I would. This is the first Brawn I can honestly say is really good for like a classics or generations collection. So yeah, he is a Legends class, so he's a little one. Um, since he is part Titan's Return, he does have a gimmick where he can have a. Um, Titan Master ride in him. It would just sit in there and there was the uh, Titan Master Brawn that came out um, before this one and he does look kind of cool you can put him in there and he comes with a little weapon but I'm not gonna get that one because I have this Brawn and I like this Brawn better anyway because it's an actual robot so just a Titan Master. But yeah that's his gimmick he can open that up and you can put a, a Titan Master inside let them ride around. And he does roll pretty decently for a little Legends class. As far as the vehicle mode goes, it looks pretty good. Looks like a little kind of US um, SUV Jeep kind of thing going on. Um, it does have a few things like the front, like the sil I do like that the grill and pit light headlights are painted nice silver with a little bit of yellow to help break it up. There is some black here and along the windshields and windows. Black for the tire up here, and that's about it for uh, silver along the sides too, although it's got a little bit of yellow poking out. Inside it's not painted at all, but oh no wait, the top here is not painted black, it's painted green. The black part's the plastic, okay. That makes more sense. There is a few discrepancies, like you can see his uh, leg joints out the back. And at the front you can make out his head, especially if you flip it down. You can turn the head around if you want, but it's really not going to hide it. His head still just stick out from under the bumper. But, you know, it's pretty much hidden. I mean, when you have it sitting there, you really can't see it too well. So yeah, it's a decent little vehicle mode for a legend size. For comparison, here's Combined Wars Blackjack and Thrilling 30 Tailgate. And you see, yeah, he's a slight bit taller than Legends, most of the other Legends, but I think that's mainly because of his gimmick. But he's not as long, so a little squat vehicle. He does have an other gimmick. This piece does pop off for a transformation. So yeah, he does part form, but it can be used. It's not just for transformation, as you can turn it around, peg it up here, and now you can give him some overhead lights or some guns, whichever you prefer to call it. And it does look alright. And without it, it does still look like a vehicle. You now have a gap going through here. But without it, it still looks like a vehicle just fine, so this piece doesn't really bug me that much. Plus, I like the idea that he has like a vehicle that can like fold around, like a piece of it folds around to become a weapon. That's pretty cool. So since we already have this off, let's go ahead and get him transformed. Set that to the side. Come to the back and unfold and back to form his legs. Go ahead and split them. Fold these panels out to form heels. Stand them up. Bring the break up the front of the vehicle. Bring the sides out and down. Simply turn the arms forward. And that's his whole transformation, so now you have Braun in his robot mode. And since we have him in robot mode now, let's go ahead and get the comparisons out of the way. Once again, here he is next to Tailgate and Blackjack. And I bring Blackjack into this because he reminds me a lot of this, of this mold. Where, yes, he is extremely simple, but he's also a lot of fun to mess around with because of that simplicity. Because, if, you know, after figures like Wheelie and figures like Tailgate, where... Wheelie, I'm sorry, will not hold together in his vehicle mode. His transformation is not overcomplicated, but he does not hold together. Tailgate here is just a little too complicated for my taste, and his robot mode is not the best looking. I feel like Braun and Wheel and Blackjack here get it right in the middle where they need to be, where just complex enough to be interesting, well, Braun's a little not quite as interesting as Blackjack, but still enough, but also due to that simplicity, has a really good looking vehicle mode and a really good robot look, good looking robot mode. Just very nice looking all around. So yeah, I'm hoping we'll get a repaint of this as gears or something. That'd be really nice. Uh, he does still have his weapon, of course, in this mode. And you can have him hold it as a gun once again. Hold it down like a shield. 
He also has uh, pegs on the side of his peg holes on the side of his arm if you want side mounted action, like so, which you could then use as an arm shield. If you don't have it pegged all the way down, you can even turn it like this, and now it looks more like a uh, buckler kind of thing. So that's pretty nice. And if you don't want him to use it at all, you can peg it around the back like so. And if you and you can actually still switch around like this and put it, and it goes down a bit further. Which it does hang down, but it kind of forms like a turtle shell for him. Plus it pegs it in a bit better, so I like to put it on like that. Personally, I like having it either on the back like that or on the sidearm as like a buckler kind of thing. I think those two look best with it. But yeah, he is a very brawn looking toy. Like, if you look, let's take a look at the head sculpt there. If the camera will focus. Focus. And it's not going to focus, but you can see about there. There we go. It's focusing decently. Nice big gray helmet, um, silver face, blue eyes, you know. It, it definitely looks like brawn. That's definitely a brawn head. And the chest is nice yellow with a little bit of blue and black paint to help break it up. Nice symbol, uh, symbol in the middle. Arms are painted in silver, even though they're yellow and square, because there's only like that one bit of yellow at the bottom and where the peg holes are. So I kind of wonder why they didn't just do it in like, gray plastic. Even if they wanted the yellow, they could have just done gray plastic with a little bit of yellow on there. But it's probably just because it's cut from the same mold as the chest or something. No paint on the legs at all, unfortunately. So it looks like most of the paint went towards the head and the arms here. But you do get a little bit on the top of the shoulders to break it up. And honestly, it's brawn. He has a very simple design to begin with, and it kind of just works. It's not, it, it's kind of summarizes brawn himself. Plain, simple, but fun. So I think he's a really good character. His, his vehicle... It's basically everything's about what I would call it. It's all of it's simple, but it's all fun. It never feels over complicated or too simple. Even down to his articulation. He does have a head swivel, and it can swivel all the way around if you want. He does have ball joints shoulders, and they go out about that using the hinge they go up can go out that far. He does have a ball jointed elbow so you can swivel all the way around and you and go 90 degrees with it. Uh, nothing at the waist, unfortunately. I can kind of understand why they cut, cut it, though, because these are two separate pieces. But you do get ball-jointed hips going outward and forward and back. A good swivel and a well over 90 degree knee due to transformation. But you can really use that articulation really well. Kind of get him going for like a shielding pose here. Oh, or his head, or exorcist, apparently. There we go. Kind of have him going like that. I think he works really well with articulation. Not a huge amount of it, but honestly, it's a lifting class. I'm not expect. I'm just expecting to be able to move his elbows and shoulders around. And he has a really good amount, especially that knee movement is really nice. So yeah, like I said, simple but fun. Really good figure. I really hope we get more Legends classes like this, because this is an excellent, excellent Legends class. And like I said, yeah, I would really love to see this as a Gears repaint, especially since uh, without in his vehicle mode without the shield piece, it looks a lot like Gears in his vehicle mode. So I really hope that's what they're going for with that, because I think that would work better than the Swerve mold did for Gears. So yeah, that's Braun. Really good figure. I recommend everybody to pick him up, to be honest. I don't think there's anybody who wouldn't like this figure. Unless you really just don't like the Titan Master gimmick, and even then, you can basically ignore the gimmick. You can also use it at the store something like that. You can store a little bit of something you're trying to hide. Whatever, you, whatever you're trying to do. Keep your nefarious needs to yourself. So yeah. I hope this has been very transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope you have a good day. Take care.